A geyser needs at least three things to work. The first is a water supply, usually cool, shallow groundwater or surface recharge, to refill the geyser after an eruption. The second is a heat source. This is not lava or molten rock, but normally superheated water, forced up through cracks under high pressure. Finally, a geyser needs a plumbing system to store the water as it's heated. This is often a vertical shaft or conduit, perhaps connected to other voids or spaces nearby. This plumbing system needs to be pressure tight. In a geyser, this is due to a layer of mineral, called sinter, that is deposited on the walls of the conduit. Over time, more and more of this sinter may be deposited, sealing the walls and perhaps narrowing channels. At the surface, the center builds a platform or cone of gray geyserite over hundreds or thousands of years. An eruption cycle starts with the conduit being filled by the superheated water from below, perhaps from multiple points. This water is much hotter than the normal boiling point, so a portion of it flashes immediately to steam as it squirts out of the fissures. Cooler, shallow groundwater also starts filling the chamber from above, mixing with the hot fluid from below and raising the water level over time. Filling the plumbing system can take anywhere from seconds to days. As the water rises, the pressure at the bottom increases due to the weight of the liquid above. Boiling is suppressed by both the cool, shallow water and this increased pressure. But the hot fluid below is still heating things, and the water temperature starts to climb. Superheated steam from below rises and condenses in the cooler waters above, warming them until the entire conduit is close to its boiling point at that depth. Now if a boil or rising bubble spills off some water from the top, the pressure will be reduced and the water throughout the conduit will start flashing to steam. Bubbles will grow larger as they rise, and the pressure of the expanding steam in the system throws the water out of the geyser and into the air, forming an eruption. With no extra pressure, much of the remaining water is ejected as steam, and the empty geyser can start refilling for the next cycle.